video is brought to you by G2Wait.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here, and welcome to another 2025 career mode video. And today, we are going to be looking at a Barcelona youngster this time around, and a player that is really starting to get a lot of increased minutes for the main Barcelona side. It is Munir. Yes, I know there are certainly a lot of you that have been crying out for me to do this player for quite a long time. And finally, he's got his 2025 video and what a player we are going to be looking at today. As I've already said before, he's really started to get some more minutes for the Barcelona team, for the main Barcelona team, even starting on some occasions. And heck, he's even scored a goal or two in the last couple of games. And of course, being the Barcelona youngster that he is, you know that a lot of people have high expectations for him to be playing for a club of that stature. He definitely has a very nice potential of only a but let's take a look at the young Spaniard stats then. 73 rated, of course, right winger. The pace is there. Attacking positioning, agility, balance, they're great. But unfortunately, the stamina and the strength, stamina in particular, really disappointing to be only 50. But anyway, let's hope that that can be developed. Ball control dribbling is great. Finishing is very good. Long shots, he definitely has some nice stats. And uh, of course, his volleys as well as a bunch of other ones. For a 73 overall, that's not bad at all. Two-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. Can play both right wing and left wing and at striker if need be. And again, only 19 years of age as well, which is great to see. No specialities, no trades. And like I've said before, a potential of 85. That would be great to see him hit that sort of a rating. So why are we waiting? Let's try to hit that rating then. It's Munir. It's the first season with him in this road to 2025. And how much has he gone up by? The, only the three. That's incredible. Great stuff there. We see a lot of growth to dribbling and again, a lot of growth to technical attributes as well. Mental, we see a little bit of growth there as well. We've got, what, plus three to almost every single mental attribute that you can see. Physical, again, like it's it's almost been a trend in, uh, in the last couple of videos where physical attributes have not really been going up by anything in or in a very long time but either way we definitely see some great technical attribute growth and that is the main thing we will hopefully one day see some growth in that area i would love to see it it might be in the second season you never know let's begin with munir all the way down we go and unfortunately it's not and unfortunately this time it's very minor growth just anywhere to be completely honest with you you see uh, a lot of growth in the mental areas again plus three plus two for almost all those stats the interceptions getting up to a dizzying height of 18 right about now but anyway we see again a little bit of growth to technical attributes things like ball control heading accuracy the passing is getting a bit better as well but not by much it's been a pretty tame second season so plus three in the first season plus one in the second season i hope that this isn't really going to get we're not going to follow that trend. Hopefully, we get a little bit of growth this time. It's going to be plus one. And hey, have a look at that. We get some physical attribute growth. That's always great to see. So the balance is going up. The uh, jumping is going up. And of course, the acceleration is going up. And I recall saying out loud that his stamina was once 52. It's now 53. So there's definitely been some stats that have gone up that aren't being indicated. And again, look at that. Mental, they're still going up pretty well. Technical attributes as well. The ball control, the dribbling, the finishing up in the 80s now. It's all looking pretty good. It's all looking okay. For a 22-year-old to be 78 rated and have those stats, I'm not complaining. But the time has come to go all the way to 2025 with Munir and let's hope for the best. Here we go. So here it is, 2025 with Munir, and what is that rating going to be? That potential of 85, that's the target. That's what we're after. He'd be about 29, 30 years of age. There is no excuses for not hitting the potential. So here we go, what's that rating in 2025? He's 85. He's, done, he's absolutely done it in the final season, going up by the one that he needed to. And again, we only see three stats that were increased in that season. The ball control, the, sh the long passing, and the heading accuracy. But it was enough to get into the 85. 29 years of age, and he's hit his potential bang on. And look at the technical attributes. My goodness, ball control and dribbling up in the high 90s. Finishing's great. Short passing's great. Long shots are absolutely sensational. And then just a bunch of other stats. Volleys, penalties. It's great to see. It's a great, great player. Unfortunately, the stamina and the strength really got left behind there with the physical attribute growth. We do see a little bit of it. The pace going up by just a tiny amount. But yeah, that stamina and that strength, that's really disappointing. He's probably, if I was ever to, if I was ever to use him, he'd be more of a player that'd be coming off the bench than starting. And that's saying a lot. Saying Being an 85 rated player coming off the bench. But sadly... That, having that sort of stamina, you just won't be able to see out the game. That's either way. Unfortunate about the stamina, but my goodness, everything else is great. So there is Munier in 2025 then. It's it's a case with a lot of young players in this game that do have a very poor stamina. Unfortunately, you can't really develop it or it doesn't really get 
uh, any better unless you use player training in a FIFA 16 career mode. But that is obviously something that you would do if you wanted to see this man become one of your more integral or crucial players. But either way, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching another 2025 career mode video. And of course, leave in the comments down below any other players or suggestions that you want me to do for this series. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.